Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. I'm here in my lovely world, joined by Breadstick, who's who's just immediately come in and destroyed a sign. Why? What did that say? What what evidence was he hiding? What what the hell is he dressed up? Oh, that looks I don't know. It looks really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's from some obscure game which everyone loves but I've never heard of. Anyway, yeah, so welcome to another Let's Play video once again in my lovely world. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is a little bit of work on my theatre, actually. And I know normally I basically update my theatre, then just sort of show you what I've added. I'm actually going to be adding to it in a video for, I think, probably the first time ever. <laughs> and then I'm going to go and play a little spot of golf uh, with Breadstick towards the end of this video. And oh, there's a creeper there. Breadstick, Breadstick, don't... Um... We got to, we got to work out how to deal with this. Um, have I got a sword with me? I do have a sword. Breadstick, only hit it if you know you know it's not going to blow up. Oh, has he got past it? It seems to be. Don't 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 don't. Oh, breadstick! <laughs> really, really, breadstick! <laughs> oh no! Oh, what a mess! What a mess! Oh, and here you can see my little my little note blocks. That's from my tunnel for when um when I get loot from my mob trap. That's sort of where the, the dong goes off so I can hear it from my love garden. What a bloody mess he's made already. <laughs> oh well, to be honest, I don't think I'd have dealt with the creeper anymore. I'd have just probably run away and left it for a while. But anyway, while I'm here, while I'm in my love garden, I might as well update it. If you are new to my videos and you don't want my love garden in, it's basically a place where uh, anyone who writes a, like a comment or something or, or a message to me and it makes me laugh or I just like it, uh, then I decide to add you to my love garden and give you a little bit of a shout out. And I'm adding two people to my love garden, I believe, today. And I just got to pick... Uh, a good place in which to add them. Oh, I suppose I'll add them here then. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure who got deleted, but sorry. Uh, the fate has decided that you're no longer in my love garden, so I'm going to add some people here. Um, first person is called um, Trina Beaner. Trina Beaner. And this is actually someone who um, uh, got someone in my love garden the other day. It was her sister's birthday, and she got me to add her to my love garden. And uh, then her sister wrote to me and said, oh, can you add my sister to my love garden? And I said, yeah, sure. So basically, uh, they're both in together. Oh, I should have put her over here on her bloody sister's side. That would have made sense. Oh, well, I mo might uh, move that a little bit later on. And someone else who just basically uh, commented about five comments in a row. And I don't normally add people uh, just because they spam messages to me. But uh, he's obviously like a big fan and enjoyed my videos. And he really wanted to be in my love garden. Uh, so it's someone called, what's they called? Uh, hip rhombus 786 so uh, yeah I thought I'd add this person to my love garden he also uh, just wrote me a message just saying I love you and I thought that was very cute so if you're watching this uh, hip rhombus uh, I love you too and uh, welcome to my love garden and sorry I'm typing this really slow because I'm trying to read off my screen and my screen's really far away and I'm not doing very well um, but yeah what's that say lol that's twice now oh that's true isn't it I remember in the last video I was with Breadstick, I came in here and there's all holes in the walls and ceiling where he'd gone like trigger happy with creepers and blown up like half of my lobby. <laughs> so yeah, maybe maybe I shouldn't have Breadstick in my videos anymore. Maybe it's not good for my world. Anyway, yeah, so what I'm going to be adding to my theatre in this video is um, I'm going to be trying to... For, I think the, the fifth time or something, sort out these lights because if you don't know, I want lights flashing outside the front of my theatre and I've had Breadstick trying to sort it out, I've had Longbow try and sort it out, I've tried to sort it out myself and every time it seemed to have worked and then just gone bad pretty quickly. And so what I've decided to do is instead of trying to use some fancy redstone wizardry, I'm going to go and use a minecart track. So you can use these things called detector rails. And basically any time a cart goes over them, it like sort of sends like a redstone signal like anything else. And so I've decided that if I have a bunch of them like in a row, that I could just have a minecart that just sort of goes over them all and then just use the minecart to sort of set them all off. So they're all be like on by default. But then as the cart goes over, they'll turn off. And so if the cart moves really quickly, hopefully it will look like as if they're kind of flashing slightly. And I'm not entirely sure if this will work. I had a little bit of a mock-up just down outside the front of my theatre, just sort of testing how detector rails work because I'd never used them before. And I believe uh, this, this should work. So all I need to do is do like just a little loop minecart track like this and actually make it uh, link up. Oh, why is that not linking up? Does it not? Do they not? Can they not turn? Oh, that would be annoying if they can't turn. Um, oh, how am I going to do this then? 
I guess that... Um, oh, I can have a little think. Will this work? Will the, will the minecart go over there? I don't know what breadsticks they're doing with that lever. I think that... I don't know. Let, let's see if that, that will go around that corner. I don't think it will, will it? I can't even push it. No, that's just going to go straight. Oh, that, that, that's really annoying, actually. I need to think of a, a way to get around that. I, I really should have tested this out before I did it in the video. So I'll be fine. Could, is, is there a way I could just do it like... So it goes like in a straight line back and forth? I suppose I could. If, if it bangs into like the wall, <laughs> that might actually work. Okay, so if I try and do it like that, then have a detector rail over on the end. If the minecart track just bangs into that wall really quickly, then just goes back and forth. That might actually even look better. So if I put some like some power rails in between. Also, I didn't mention, by the way, because I heard my dog barking there. Uh, I've taken Oreo with me, uh, which is a dog name suggested by uh, a subscriber. Suggested to call one Oreo, and I thought that was quite a cool name for a dog. Uh, so yeah, that's who's going to be uh, accompanying me in this video. Uh, we're also going to check on... Um, uh, Gregory Jr., who you might remember in my last video I placed uh, at my golf course. So I'm going to go and check on him a little bit later on in this video. So let's just see if this works. I'm not sure if this will work. Uh, if it does, it'll be kind of fluky. I just need to make uh, one more redstone torch there. And so let's just see if it will just sort of bounce back and forth. I, I'm pretty sure this won't work. And if it doesn't, I won't worry about it too much. But I oh know it just smacks into the wall at the end. Oh, why doesn't it bounce back? That's really annoying. Because it kind of looks like it would work. You can see them all lighting up like that, but then it just bangs in at the end. I just need to, oh, I just need it to like curve round. I know what I'd do. I'd ignore the end two torches for now, and I'd just try and get it with the middle ones flashing and the, the end ones can stay on. Because then I could just put the end ones as, um, as just like normal, like torches, like not redstone torches, and they could just be like, con like constantly lit. So if I do it like this, then add like another power rail here just so it can. Uh, keep its speed up on the way round. Uh, shove down that, that spare redstone torch. And then hopefully uh, this, this should work, maybe? We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> it probably won't because I build it, but... Will that keep going round? There we go. Well, the the minecart track keeps going round. I think this might actually work, actually. I might want to add a couple more power rails just to keep keep the speed up. But actually, I should add it... Yeah, if I, if I add it here, then add one on the same on the other side. This may actually work. So sorry, sorry if you ever plan to use these videos as a guide for doing things. I'm probably not doing this the most effective way, but I think this will work. And uh, after the video, I can have another little fiddle around to see if I can make it work better. But I think this should be okay if that actually does keep spinning round. There we go. Anyway, let's let's go down the front and let's have a look and see if see if my handy works done okay. So there should be two redstone torches at the end, just staying on, and the other one should be flashing. Yeah, look, it worked. Look at that. That looks all right. If I just get rid of those end two, or somehow manage to like incorporate them into the pattern, I think that's worked really well, hasn't it? Well, for me, it's definitely worked really well. <laughs> okay, well, the next thing I want to do is I want to um, go up to my roof, and I'm going to add that dome. Oh, you may have heard in past videos me talking about adding a dome onto the roof uh, of my building, and I've been putting it off for a long time. Uh, but you can see I finally like put a, a ceiling and a bit of a roof onto the top of my theatre. And so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to alternate between doing uh, sandstone and uh, wooden planks. And I originally planned to use obsidian and, oh god, Oreo nearly pushed me in there. Actually, boy, you better sit down because I don't want you, you falling off and killing yourself. I'm definitely not in the mood to lose another dog. And, ah, oh, thank you. That's what I was looking for. So, yeah, I was originally going to use obsidian, uh, but then I tried it out and obsidian with, like, the whole wooden interior just looked horrible. It was just too, like, bold and distinctive and it just looked really bad. So, uh, instead of using obsidian, I'm going to, as I say, alternate uh, between using sandstone and wooden planks. And it just sort of fits with the style of the theatre a little bit better than Obsidian did, even though it's kind of what the majority of my house has been built out of. And oh no, breadstick, we're gonna, we can fill in these middle bits, don't worry about that. Okay, so yeah, then, as I say, it's gonna alternate between that and then uh, wooden planks on the next row. And hopefully I've got enough wooden planks and uh, sandstone with me. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I do. And oh, no, we're good, yeah. Because I think if you leave gaps like that, when you, when you fill it in, it won't quite work, so... <laughs> Hopefully breadstick will see what I'm doing and, and do the same. Oh no, I can't get that. That ah, oh, just just can't reach that. Come on, get it, get it. There we go. And then uh, yeah, then we do the, the wooden planks like one up and one in. And then hopefully it will create a dome. And once I've done the dome, I'm not going to add it in this video, uh, but I will eventually uh, put like a like a chandelier down in the middle by just using like um, 
like fences and stuff and then glowstone. I hopefully have a big grand uh, chandelier in the middle of my room and hopefully breadstick scene uh, like the way I'm doing it and adding to it. I can see why he's not wanting it to do it this way. He's thinking of doing it like just so it's just one row. I know this is kind of like two blocks in, but I don't know. I just think it looks a little bit better like that. I think it looks a bit too, I don't know, a bit too pointy not doing it like that. So hopefully, no, 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 breadstick don't. Oh no, he's just getting rid of the ones that I'm placing. <laughs> breadstick, do, do it the way I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's my own it's my own fault by doing these these commentaries where, where they can't hear. <laughs> Oh, no, oh, he keeps... Oh, this, this is actually just making it harder than it otherwise would have been. <laughs> having, to, oh, having to keep replacing these. Oh, well, it, it, it's not his fault. He doesn't he doesn't realise the way that I, I plan to do it. I didn't... I obviously didn't run it by him enough before the video. And see, as I say, once we've, once we've finished doing this, we're going to head over to the golf course where I have built uh, one new hole since the last video. If you remember my last video, I built a, uh, like a doghouse themed one. I've finished that off. So that one's now completely done and I've also added uh, another one since then which is like a cobblestone castle one and this is getting really confusing now because I'm having to go through and do it all myself wait let me just try and get breadstick's attention breadstick look 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 no you see these don't oh he's just pushed me in he just pushed me down <laughs> we're gonna fall out through artistic differences we are <laughs> So what I think what I think we might do is I might I might leave that dome for now because um, oh, I think he's giving me dirt blocks so I can climb my way back up. I might leave that for now because I think that if we keep doing it where we're battling trying to do it our own ways, it's actually going to take longer than if I was actually just trying to do it myself. I think he's thinking of just doing it like one row while I'm just sort of trying to copy the pattern underneath just to keep it like consistent the whole way up. But I don't know why he didn't see what I was doing and didn't just realise that that is what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh well, I won't worry about it too much. Hopefully he's seen what I'm trying to do and... Oh no, I've just realised I've punched him though, so hopefully Oreo... Well, probably Oreo is going to go after him now. No, 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 look, see me shaking my head? Like... Like that. Does he understand? <laughs> I, th I think he's just about understand. I love using like Minecraft sign language. And I've also realized I haven't got any torches on me. I might want to place a few of those up here just so googlies don't uh, come after us. I won't do them neatly or anything. I just sort of shove them down anywhere for now. I don't think googlies will spawn while we're here, but just in case they do. I'm worried that we've mocked up the pattern somewhere now and it's not uh, the same. Actually, it's looking all right. I think this is this is looking kind of how it should be. I'm, I'm just worried that because of because the bottom's all different, like, in the middle, that it's not going to be the same at the top. Like, oh, no, it's not the same on both sides. Is this right? Is this the same? I think I think this is right. I think this is how I plan. Because I, I did, I kind of did this before with Obsidian, as I said, and, like, the actual shape looked pretty good. It worked out quite well. Um, but I didn't save it, by the way. I didn't go and destroy all the Obsidian again, because that would have taken half an hour. <laughs> and I think the shame looked, uh, the shape looked all right, but... I don't know, I think something's different here. Yes, it's not... Oh, it's all wonky. Yeah, this is it's supposed to be exactly the same on either side. Yeah, this is going to take too long to try and sort out. Uh, so basically what we're going to do now, I'm just going to ignore this for now, and then we can go over to the golf course, and um, yeah, we can we can play a bit of golf against each other, because yeah, this has completely not worked out <laughs> how it's supposed to. It's supposed to be completely symmetrical, and I'm scared Oreo's going to go after Breadstick. It looks like he's forgiven him. Oh well, let's let's go to bed now. And then in the morning we can head over to my golf course and we can have a bit of fun there. And then uh, afterwards I'll go here and try and uh, sort out that dome on the roof. <laughs> oh well, okay, where was, where was that ladder? Oh, it's, it's night, isn't it, as well? I'm worried about the googlies. Remember in my last video I had that death-defying minecart trip where <laughs> I was going across and there was just googlies everywhere I looked and one specific place over there which I called Googly Island where they all seem to have collected. So hopefully Breadstick's noticed that I'm no longer up there and he's going to come and uh, join me and we're going to go to bed. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I've uh, built particularly that I need to show you to update. I'm just going to quickly lie in bed uh, so Breadstick can see that I do want to go to bed. Yeah, I can see him there just, <laughs> just jumping off my roof and just sort of coming with me. <laughs> okay, yeah, so he should go to bed. Then in the morning we can go across. Um, what I'm really after at the moment, by the way, if any of you are uh, Minecraft creators on the Xbox version, uh, I did a few survival game maps and stuff, and I really enjoyed them, and I'd like to do some more stuff like that, and especially now that creative mode is going to be added to the game. Uh, if you are a Minecraft creator and you don't want to make like a puzzle map, or like a survivor map, a PvP map, or just sort of like an adventure map uh, for me to explore, uh, then yeah, please do just send me a message 
uh, on YouTube, say what your gamer tag is and say uh, what the type of map is that you've made and then I'll go and come and check it out and hopefully uh, make a video of it because I really enjoy that kind of stuff. Like, I love building in Minecraft, I love creating things, but I think in terms of videos sometimes uh, building things can get like a bit repetitive and boring uh, so I'd really like to sort of do more PvP maps and stuff in the future and while there's all these sheep here I can't resist uh, shearing them all down and getting their red wool. I'm basically after a load of red wool at the moment because I want uh, to make like a red curtain for like in my theatre uh, because it's a theatre they always need a red curtain. Also I need a red carpet uh, when I have my big opening day when I have my big my big first show which I'm going to put on. I need a red carpet for all of the stars to walk up and down and uh, have their interviews on. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to get as much red wool at the moment as I'm after. I always seem to be always after red wool for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, let's 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 head over to the golf course. I'm not even sure if Breadstick has seen the golf course before. I think he might have. I think I might have showed him uh, when I first started building it, but he definitely hasn't seen uh, the most recent holes. I haven't even played them myself yet, so I don't even know exactly how quickly you can do them so hopefully this will be quite interesting and all right bloody take all right take all the bloody minecart tracks don't worry about me breadstick you you go ahead <laughs> come on oreo let's go catch up i don't know why i just really love that name for a dog oreo i don't know if that was like someone's own dog i wish i remembered who suggested it but they actually suggested it like months ago and i just took ages like uh taking the dog with me so if that was you a uh, good suggestion Okay, so now I'm going to show you how my... Oh, don't go back, don't go back! Oh, no, just get out, just get out, get out. Oh, Oreo, sorry, I'm sorry, Oreo. I was trying to break the minecart track, then you just appeared there. Oh, no, come back. Oh, what a, what a horrible dog owner I am. I'm sorry. Oh, I've got some pork chops with me. I think I do. Come here, Oreo. Come here, let's let's get your tail wagging again. Eat, eat that up. Come on, little fella. Where are you going? Oh, don't, I think he's scared of me. Oh, look, he's, like, tur he's turning his nose up. I don't want those pork chops from you. Look at him. He's just staring at me, putting his nose up. Oh, this is like a really snobby dog. Look, eat your bloody pork chops and be happy, all right? There's dogs running around now and they don't have any pork chops. There's stray wolves all around this area and they've got no loving cat to go and feed them and stuff. So you should you should be happy. <laughs> okay, right, here we are at my golf course. So uh, par one, I've called... Uh, no, hole one, sorry, I've called Noob Alley. Uh, basically because if you fail at that, you are a complete noob. Uh, this one's called hole two, uh, the dip. Uh, this one I, I simply called Doghouse and added a sign there saying Gregory Jr. And this is what it looks like completed. This is sort of the little plinth that Gregory Jr. sits on. So you've got to kind of throw it over his head to try and get it in. And so even though he is sort of cursed to a life of just sitting on there, um, I don't know, I think it just makes quite a good obstacle. And here's the one which I added most recently, uh, which is called Cobblestone Castle. And I realize I need to add uh, some black wall there. And you've got to kind of throw it through there and then it will land on here and of course it will have my little ding. But there's one extra little complication which I've added to this one. Down here, there's a little secret pit where you can see I've had my hand at doing some redstone. This is just a simple redstone clock. And this basically makes a piston uh, constantly like extend and go back down again. Uh, so if I reset this and turn all that back on and head back up, I'm just gonna cover my tracks quickly so uh, no one else knows about my secret. Uh, machinery down there. Yeah, you can see that the gate there opens and closes. So you've got to try and time it right and try and get it through without it getting stuck. So let's let's play a little bit of golf now. So Breadstick, are you ready? Let's let's go play. And so I'm not sure what what the what the par is. Oh, there's another dog there. Oh, Gregory Jr. stood up. Oh, Gregory Jr. just killed Breadstick. No. Oh, not only has it ruined my bloody obstacle, but he's also been killed. Why did he kill Breadstick? Was that because I punched him like ages ago? Do dogs like never forget? Oh no, I've got to remember which one's Oreo and which one's Breadstick. Actually, I remember now. Gregory Jr. was the one with four legs. So, <laughs> come on, come over here. Come over here. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Oh no. Oh no. I went to make him sit. I just threw a snowball at him. I'm so mean to my dogs today. Right, sit on the ice. And I'm just going to slide your bum across that cold ice. I hope you don't mind. And then I get you, get you back to your obstacle where you belong. <laughs> He doesn't seem happy with me. He seems quite ferocious. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him if I said that. Right, for the rest of your life, you're going to sit on that one spot and be an obstacle for a golf game. I probably wouldn't be very happy, I'll be honest. There we go. That's, that, that's, that's about the middle of the square. Okay, well, so I'm not going to wait for breadstick. I'm just going to just gonna go myself and just see how well I can do. So hole one, noob alley. Let's see if I can get this in in one. If I don't, that'd be very embarrassing. And I did. Of course I bloody did. Okay, hole number two, the dip, par three. I should be able to do this one in two, as long as Oreo doesn't get in my way. Throw one, throw two. No, it didn't go in. Gone, drop, drop, drop. 
Oh, I try and blow it in. That's not working, is it? Ah, oh, three. That was awful. I didn't get it in again. I missed again. Four. Oh, that's that's what you get for being cocky. It's always those those little ones that look too easy that trip you up. <laughs> okay, right over here. Uh, dog house par three. Okay, I need to redeem myself and get this one in in two. So you just simply slide it under the dog house like that. Just gonna throw it over Gregory Jr.'s head. Hope you don't mind. Got that one in. There we go. And now the final hole over here, Cobblestone Castle. Now this is a difficult one. It's par three, although I believe you can do it in a hole in one. Although, um, yeah, you've got to obviously get it through that gate first time. And that's where the real challenge is. So I've got to time this right. So I believe if I do it just as it goes up, I go now. Get it in, get it in, get it in. Oh, and I think it got stuck on that, that dirt block. I oh, know it did get it in. I got it in, in a hole in one. Oh yeah, Stampy Long Nose. Bringing it home for the team. The team of one. <laughs> right, sorry, Breadstick, because you were murdered, uh, we're not really going to have much time to play our game as I'm just about to end the video here. So I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, in my next video, I'm going to update my theatre a little bit more and I'm very nearly finished with my theatre, so make sure uh, you stay tuned to my channel to see my first production, which is going to be Stampy Long Nose and the Magic Pork Chop, which is something that you're definitely uh, not going to want to miss. And it's also something that I'm definitely going to have to start writing uh, <laughs> pretty soon. But that's the end of this video. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye!